What's up YouTube? Jeff your Style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how to style and do a review of the L.O. Bean Bean Boot. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Michael Yates, salute. Now, as you've probably already been able to guess by the title of today's video, we're gonna break down one of the favorite items in my closet, my L.L. Bean Bean Boots. Not only am I gonna talk about some of the characteristics that make this such a quality item, I'm also gonna show you how I rock it three different ways to show you the function and the versatility of this great boot. So without further ado, let's get into a review and a lookbook of the L.L. Bean Bean Boot. First up, let's do a walk around as I show you some of the details that make this a warm, durable, dry boot. Starting with the super sticky rubber sole that no matter how hard you try, you will not fall. Combined with this full grain, durable, nice brown leather upper, hand stitched to this durable, dry, warm rubber bottom. And on the inside, making sure your feet stay warm and dry, we have the Thinsulate. Put it all together, we have a handcrafted, well-made boot made right in the USA, in the great state of Maine, as you can see with the logo that they probably put on the back from LL Bean. As you can see, I've had this one for about 10 years, has a little wear and tear, but it's just as good as new. Okay, so now that I've told you about the details of the boot, let's get into this lookbook. First thing first, I highly suggest you size down as these boots definitely run a bit large. I usually wear around 11 and a half, 12 size shoes. I went with an 11 with these LL Beans. As you can see here, I have them paired up with a great warm weather favorite, my gray wool herringbone trousers. And what I like about these boots, as you can see, they push the pant leg up, definitely making it much easier for the pants to stay dry. And of course, I have it paired with another warm weather favorite, my dark blue and gray flight jacket. Put it all together, we have a great look for the cool and colder weather, keeping our feet and the rest of our body warm and dry with these LL Bean Bean Boots. Okay, for our second look today, I'm gonna ask you to use your imagination and pretend like the style OG actually goes hunting or fishing, as this time we use the LL Bean Boots for a much more functional outfit. As you can see here, once again, we got my bean boots, but this time we have them paired with my good old dark wash denim with the pant leg rolled up to keep them nice, warm, and dry. And completing the look up top, we're going all the way with the hunting look with a good old red plaid flannel shirt. And for an additional warmth and dryness, I've thrown on a navy blue puffer vest. Put it all together and your good old style OG is definitely ready to pretend like he's going hunting or fishing, but it's coming home warm and dry. Okay, for our third and final look, we have what I like to call business casual, warm and dry. As this time, we have the LL Bean boots, but we have my stone chino completely tucked inside of the boots. As you notice here, because I opted for the 10 inch variety of the boots, I have extra coverage, and you better believe my pants will not get wet on the way to work. On top, we paired it with a good old fall fallback, your typical tweed brown blazer. And underneath, for a pop of color, we have a nice navy gingham dress shirt. Like I said, this one is fully functional. Wake up, you see it's raining or snowing. Forget the dress shoes, throw on these tall duck boots, and you'll be nice, warm, put together and dry by the time you reach your destination. Okay, so there you have it. My guide on how to style and wear the L.O. Bean Bean Boot. Let me know in the comment section if you're a fan of this classic boot. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll meet you here tomorrow.